Hello everyone, my name is Berta and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making a lookbook inspired by the spring season. I have made 11 outfits for you guys and yes I will be making a, co a custom content list and I, I will be linking it down below in the description so you can get whatever items that you like and put them into your game. I must admit at some points I forgot to press the record button because I was doing this over the course of a few days so there might be bits missing and I know there is one outfit that I completely forgot to record so you will see that one and all the other outfits uh, at the end I will post screenshots of every outfit that I make so when I think of spring I think of flowers plants soft colors and yellow and I think that I think of yellow because of the sun which is interesting because the sun doesn't necessarily shine a lot during spring here in the Netherlands. I remember that when I was little, spring was a time that the sun would start to shine and, you know, the weather would get better. But um, I feel like the last few years, spring is very unpredictable and it can be either very sunny or it can either be still cold, cloudy, rainy, wet and all that stuff. Today happens to be a very sunny day here, so I'm feeling very lucky. I went out for a few minutes for the first time in five days, I guess. It was nice to feel the sun on my face, but uh, of course I couldn't stay outside for a long time and I didn't want to be close to people, so it was a few minutes, but they were a good few minutes. Back to the video. Um, I have so many floral printed items in my CC collection. I realized when I was making this, um, I was kind of under uh, underwhelmed. I mean, overwhelmed with all the options that I had, which made it very difficult for me to choose which items I wanted to use, but I got there eventually. And um, oh, I, I really love this shirt with the bees that you're seeing right now. It's, you know, I, I've come across it multiple times, but haven't been making sims that this shirt would um, look good on and you know suit their personality but um, I've been waiting to use it and this was the perfect time to use it so I gave it to this sim and I am very happy I could use it finally because I really like the shirt. I tried to give her a very light, um, colorful and I don't know happy colored clothes and I kept her makeup fairly neutral across all outfits I think so you know I wanted everything to be light and and spring like <laughs> I hope that makes sense for you also I know everyone is now probably playing Animal Crossing and I don't have a switch my boyfriend has but I have heard that you can only have one island like one save file per console is that correct because that would be annoying having like a game which i can only play when my boyfriend is not playing and he uses the switch a lot and also him not being able to play the game that is on his switch so I probably won't be able to play it. Um, it's also very expensive. I have never played Animal Crossing before, so I don't know if I like it. Please tell me if you like Animal Crossing, why do you like it? Why do you recommend it? Um, and also if you have played previous versions in the franchise, I have a Wii, a GameCube and a Game Boy, but I don't think it's on the Game Boy. But if you have played the version for the Wii or the GameCube. Which one do you recommend me? Do you re even recommend those? Because I'm thinking of maybe buying one of those secondhand, like for a small price and then seeing if I like it. So I can make a decision on whether I want to buy the Switch version. Also, I want to talk a bit about the book that I'm reading right now. If you know me, you know that I love reading books. I even had a booktube channel a few years ago, but um, because of my 
busy schedule with, you know, university and stuff, I stopped reading for a long time. But I am reading a bit again and I have been listening to the audiobook A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. And I didn't know what to expect because people have been raving about this. But it was super long. It's like 29, no, more 32 hours of listening, so I, I was kind of apprehensive. But um, I have already cried three times and I'm not even halfway. It's about this main character called Jude and he has had a difficult childhood. And his friends, three friends, and the story basically tells their life. But um, it is very graphic, so I just want to say don't read this book if you are triggered by topics like any kind of abuse, um, addiction, self-harm, those kind of stuff because these are topics that keep coming back and also are talked about in detail in this book. But if you can handle these things, this book, I mean I'm only halfway but until now this is so amazing. Like, the characters are... They, they feel so real, and... Uh, it's... Uh, you know, it's leaving me speechless, as you can hear, so... Um, go read this book if you can handle read, reading about those topics. You know, I was reading before I was doing this voiceover, and... I couldn't stop listening and the time was ticking away and I was like, um, I'm gonna run out of time to do this voiceover, I need to do this now. So I had to stop myself and then first drink something, watch a nice YouTube video and listen to some uh, happy music before I could make this voiceover and sound happy <laughs> instead of depressed because of that book. But um, that's enough about this book for now. Go read it, okay? Thanks for listening. So tell me about what you have been doing during these times of quarantine and stuff. Um, do you still have to go to work? I still have to go to work, not every day because it is a side job, but I work into in the healthcare sector, so this just needs to go on. But um, do you still need to work? Do you work from home? Um, do you not? work at this moment and if not what do you do do you like reading just like i do and what are you reading or are you just playing sims 24 7 because um that is also a nice thing to do i really enjoy watching videos that i just see on my twitter timeline of people doing creative things and you know silly things and it's just so much fun to see what people come up with to do when they suddenly have so much free time. I also realize that it is very difficult for some people. Um, it is sometimes for me as well, like mental health wise, this can be very tough. So if you are struggling with your mental health because of the lockdown quarantine thing, take good care of yourself. Um, try to distract yourself if that is working for you. And um, I hope that this video took you out of uh, all the negativity for a while. Lately I have been looking into wigs. I have a few wigs, like very cheap ones from AliExpress. Um, and they're not that good, but I have been wanting to get a, a good one for a long while now. And I also wanted to look into making a cosplay costume of Eritrea, one of my favorite fantasy characters that I have talked about in my videos before. So I've been looking uh, at wigs and for now I have ordered a synthetic wig but it has front lace so the hairline looks natural I hope and is very much it has many good reviews and it's light blonde and I'm very excited to go light blonde again because my hair was blonde, like very light blonde, two years ago? No, more. A few years ago and I really really liked it but it was very hard to maintain and I also had other shades of dye in my hair that I couldn't completely get rid of so I really hope that, that this wig is good and that I can have blonde hair again sometimes because 
I'm just so excited for that. And I also bought a cheap one with a lavender color. I just wanted to see how that color looks on me, so I'm excited to find out. Also, if any of you do cosplays, I have never done a cosplay before and I really want to make this costume, but I cannot make clothes. How do you suggest I go about learning how to do this? Do you have any videos specifically that you think are good or did you take classes which really helped you? I would like to know if you have done this before. By the way, I gave this sim a few traits that, you know, they just came to mind when I thought of spring. I don't know why, but I chose art lover, family oriented and loves the outdoors. And her aspiration is to be a botanist. Is that how you pronounce it? Her name Vera is inspired by the Italian and Spanish word primavera, which means spring. So yeah, that's how I come up with her name. For now, I'm gonna wrap this video up. As I said before, I will be making a, a CC list and it will be linked down below in the description. So go grab the items that you like. So that's it for today. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to share this with anyone that you think could benefit from this video. For example, if they need some spring themed custom content. If you like the content that I make, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps the channel out and it means a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!